Welcome back to the next video. In today's video, I will show you how to create an Android plugin for shake detection in Gado game engine. So firstly, I will show you the output like there is not much to show. I will just shake my device and here you can see a, a signal being emitted from our Android side to Gado side and we are just updating our label. Okay, shake detected. So firstly, what you'll have to do is you'll have to create an Android project using Android Studio next uh, it can be a jetpack compose project or empty views project then you will have to right click new module go to android library name it whatever you want i have named it as my library change the package name to according to your wish and then click on finish i have already created it so won't create it again next you will have to go to build.gradle.kts and here you will have to add this uh, line particular so this basically creates an android plugin for us uh, it uh, downloads the code for creating an android plugin so i am using gado 4.2.1 at the time of this recording but if you are using some higher version make sure you update this version as well also you can check maven central for the latest version and then just click on sync now once you do that uh, you inside your library you will have to create a kotlin file for gado android plugin which extends from the gado plugin i have named the file as uh, my plugin uh, okay plugin as uh, my plugin you can name it whatever you want but do remember this name because we will be using it in lot of the places as well then i have created a sensor manager acceleration current acceleration as well as last acceleration then i have created a sensor event listener and i am overridden two methods on sensor changed and on accuracy change from that we are getting the x y and z values uh, and then we are ac ac assigning a uh, uh, last acceleration equal to current acceleration and the current acceleration is square root of x into x plus y into y plus z into z uh, then we are converting it to double and then converting it to float and then we are calculating a data delta uh, or by using current acceleration minus last acceleration and then your acceleration is will be equal to acceleration into 0 0.9 f plus delta and if the acceleration is greater than 12 that means the device has been shaked okay and here I have registered our signal which will help us to send data from Android plugin to the Gado side and this on main inside on main create we are uh, initializing our sensor manager by default I have set the acceleration as 10f and current acceleration and last, ac last acceleration is equal to sensor manager dot gravity earth and on resume we are registering our listener for sensor manager and on pause we are unregistering our listener once that is done you will have to go to android manifest.xml and here i have just copy pasted this from the gado docs uh, only change which you have to make is this should be your package name so if you want to know so this is your package name so copy it over here and this should be your plugin name so whatever you have written over here okay this should be your plugin name next you will have to go to the android drop down go to project and inside my library you will have to create a folder called export scripts template inside that create a file called export underscore plugin dot gd and i have literally copy pasted everything from the documentation only thing which you have to change is this plugin name over here so whatever is your plugin name write it over here everything else will remain the same okay next create a file called plugin dot cfg again copy pasted everything from the docs only plugin name should change change the description and author to whatever you feel like uh, next you will have to open your terminal and you will have to cd to your android project not to your android library cd to android project and you will have to run this command so i'll just show you what command that is so this is the command gradle w assemble so this will create uh, ar files for you so i'll show you where these files are created so just uh, go to my android project then go to app uh, sorry not app my library build outputs AR and here you should see two AR files being generated I have already copied those AR files to my Gado project so next you will have to create your Gado project then inside that create a folder called add-ons inside that create a folder with your plugin name and inside that create a folder called bin and inside bin create two folder debug and release now you will ha have to copy the debug AR file to the debug folder release AR file to the release folder also you will have to change the name a little bit so if i show you that so here you can see i have changed the name to whatever is your plugin name dash debug dot ar similarly for release as well whatever is your plugin name dash release dot ar then uh, you will have to uh, copy these two files which we created export plugin dot gd and plugin dot cfg to 
uh, your uh, plugin folder so inside my plugin folder i have copied these two file as well okay which you can see over here then you will have to click on project install android build template i have already done that then click export click add add android at the bottom you might be seeing a fix import button just click on it and here you will have to select use gradle build and here from this select whatever architecture your android device is running on if you don't know select all four of those and here just click on project project settings go to plugins make sure you check this checkbox and here uh, inside you have, i have just taken a label and this again and i have attached one script and this again should be your plugin name inside on ready i am loading our uh, plugin as well as i am attaching our signal and once the signal is called this method gets called and here i am just updating our uh, labels text so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye